You want to know one of the things that really changed my ball striking was this incredibly simple idea of getting your elbows together like this. Just squeezing those elbows together. I saw this in a Ben Hogan book, Five Lessons. He's one of the best ball strikers of all time. And it got me thinking, why are we not doing this? We should be doing all of this right now. And here's why. If you want a consistent golf swing, if you want a powerful golf swing, if you want to strike the ball first and take a divot after it, you've got to get those elbows close together. We're just going to stand out here with our arms extended and we're going to push those elbows in towards each other. And you're actually going to have your elbows pointing more at your hips. And really important that you get even that right arm tucked in or that trail arm really glued in there. And this is going to do a couple of awesome things for your golf swing. One, the most important piece, it's going to connect your arms, your hands, the club, everything here to your body. And you know, one of the biggest problems I'll see amateur golfers go through is that their body and arms are out of sequence. Sometimes the arms break down, sometimes they fire the body and they don't tell the arms what to do. So if you got an issue with rushing your swing, if you got an issue with bad contact, or you're just confused about your swing, boom, elbows to get together is going to fix that. Now the next thing you should see about these elbows being together is more power. Getting that arm tucked in folds it to 90 degrees. And that's a huge power source that you're going to use to explode on the golf ball. So we've got consistency, we've got power, and we've got a swing that's a lot simpler. So you think about all the positions you need to hit in the golf swing. Elbows together is going to take care of the positions. So I squeeze these elbows close together and watch, boom, I automatically feel like, whoa, my shoulders are now in control of the entire swing instead of my arms and body moving separate from each other. So as I swing back, takeaway, taken care of. Ooh, takeaway, taken care of. Keep going with the shoulders. Boom, halfway back, we're on the proper path. Boom, top of backswing. Hands are behind the right shoulder, the trail shoulder. Just like you see with all of the great golfers, getting the hands more in. And then I think downswing, well, what do I got to do? Do I have to drop the club in the slot? Do I have to fire my hips? Do I have to fire my hips and then let the arms do nothing? Hmm, makes you think, doesn't it? That's a few different variables right there. Well, I just try and take the shoulders right back to the ball. So keep those elbows squeezed together, shoulders going back to the ball, look at that, oh my goodness automatic shallowing of the club. That's why I love this. I don't like thinking and I'm sure you don't like thinking either. So we keep those elbows together, we keep the shoulders moving and we get closer to impact. Look at this, I've got the lag preserved. So that's that whole notion of keeping lag. Swinging those shoulders, impact, perfect impact position, hands ahead of the ball and then just continue those shoulders through. Arms extend the straight and that's a full power release right there. So we got this folded trail arm, we got an extended trail arm. Everything you got is going through that ball. And then look, hips. Boom, the hips just turned. So I just pre-programmed an automatic golf swing, starting from the setup. You should do this with me right now. Elbows together, swing those shoulders, just keep them moving, and boom, there's a divot strike after the ball. Oh. That, that just, that should get you thinking, wow, can we really become a ball striking machine? Yes, we can. And I'm just going to hit one. I haven't hit a ball yet today. This is the first video of the day that I'm filming. So we'll just see what happens. This is why I love setting machine. Elbows together. Let's just swing. All right. Not too bad for the first swing of the day. I caught a little bit of a divot. We can do better than that. Let's get an even crispier one. That was just semi-crispy, like those semi-sweet chocolate chips. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, second swing of the day was a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All I thought during that swing was elbows staying closely together. Now, you'll be tempted to want to get those elbows to go farther apart. So don't think that because this is simple, it's easy. It's actually a little difficult at first. You might feel tense, you might feel stiffness in the arms when you do this correctly at first. Because most golfers are gonna be here, elbows out. See my elbows pointing away from my body? They're pointing out 
one towards the target, one away from the target. And then elbows together is gonna be elbows at the hips, at least at the hips. I like to take that right arm and I'll get that right arm inside of the hip. Just give that trail arm a little bit more tuck. You'll thank me later when you start sending the ball past your playing partners about 50 yards down the middle, past them. Then they're gonna be saying, hey, where'd you get that tip? Don't tell them right away. Collect a few winnings from them and then tell them the secret. Now, keep this elbow in, elbows together. Do you think we can do it again? I think we should do it again. That's fun. This is why we play. Let's keep it together. Oh, that's marvelous. And that was another crispy shot. And how much effort? Well, it's not a whole lot of effort either because I'm using the natural power sources that are built in your body. I'm not doing this thing where arms go and then I've got to figure out, do I turn my hips? Do I keep my leg flexed? If I just keep those shoulders moving, elbows together, boom, the hips turn, boom, there's the power source. And I can go far, as far back as I want. You know, I've got a pretty controlled backswing here, stopping about here. I can go farther if I want more power. It's going to stay controlled. I'll still keep my contact built in too. And this is the beauty. This is why Hogan stressed elbows together, squeeze them in. Because it got the body working instead of just doing an arms only swing. Let's just move these shoulders even more like a power swing. Oh, we shredded that ball like fine cheddar. How could we make the golf swing simpler? If you wanted to make a swing that was simple, you would try and eliminate variables. And what are, the, what are some of the variables that you might be dealing with right now? Well, variables that are very common to golfers right now are one, they're gonna shift, shift their weight. Two, they're gonna try and time up and coordinate the arms and the body. So they, they might swing arms first and hands first. Because their elbows are out, they might break down the arms. They might end up with a swing that doesn't have any body, no body, like space balls. Nobody knows when you're swinging like that. Nobody's gonna even recognize you. But when you start hitting the ball like that and it makes that sound, they're saying, whew, elbows together. Now on that one, my elbows kind of came a little bit apart, so I didn't really like that one as much. And I could feel it in the follow through. If you actually feel it in the follow through, a little bit of elbows pulling apart, you need to stress more elbows together, feel more body through the shot. So I actually got a little lazy there. Let's keep them glued. Ooh, you are not going anywhere. There we go. I feel my arms just being a little bit straighter through the shot, and that's gonna produce high, far, straight. So not a whole lot of curve on that ball. Hitting all the positions, and the contact feels lovely. Works with every club in the bag, even the chipping, even the pitching, even the putter. Just even, awesome. There it is again, straight. Elbows together. Hey, just check this out really quickly. Do you see this right here? Bread and butter. This is where you probably are, and this is where you need to be, in. That's close together. When I first did this, it felt like I was trying to squeeze a golf ball. Now, I don't want you to literally squeeze a golf ball. It's like, it felt like I was trying to squeeze a golf ball between my elbows. It felt like that. That's too much, but Right arm in as much as you can. You wanna see about a grapefruit. Grapefruit, softball, in there. Let's do uh, some pitches and some half swings because I wanna show you the effectiveness of this for your short game and that inside 100 yards. So we're here inside 100 yards. I've got a little bit of a, an eight iron. We'll just do a little uh, punch type shot first. So really pure punch right there. It's probably about 100 to 125 yards. Now, I don't have to feel like I'm rushing through my chips or pitches. I feel really smooth motion because the body's in charge. So here's a little pitch shot. Let's go, let's go about 75, 60 yards there. Okay. Nice, little divot. Just keeping those elbows together. Bingo, right on the flag, hit it. You see how soft that swing is too? It doesn't feel like I'm working. All right, same thing again, elbows together, master the shoulders. Oh, nice and high and soft. Boop. 
You feel like you're Bob Ross just painting a little cloud over there next to that cool river. So uh, what about something shorter than that? So let's go into about 30 yards. That's just... All right. You know, I was a little chunky there, I'm not gonna lie. A little chunky because I stopped my shoulders before I hit the ball. I was really, gotta keep the shoulders moving. Keep those shoulders moving. Here we go. There we go. Mm, that was tasty. That's probably that 20 to 30 yard type of pitch lob. You get up to chipping, chipping, Shorter than that if you want. Chipping, you can go almost anywhere, but let's just do a little chip, 10 yards or less. Something soft. All right, that was just a little bit okay. Hair thin. I have a problem with stopping my shoulders. I gotta keep them moving through the ball, so. Let's get those elbows together, shoulders only. There we go. Every single one of these puppies is right here on the middle of the face. And that's because we set up a machine, elbows together. So you look at how to put this all together, elbows together is gonna do contact, power. And then I'm gonna give you another video coming up soon. We're gonna talk a little bit more about how to hit the center of the face. But I've got some of that in my free mini course and a bunch of drills at the link go.segudo.golf. You can check it out in the comments and description below. Sign up there you'll see ways to be a great ball striker. There's so many great drills in there. They're my favorite drills. Like, I really can't believe I'm sharing them because there are a lot of the secrets that have gotten me here, but I love seeing y'all improve, so just go check them out. Please do that right now. It's nice and soft, buttery smooth, elbows together, keep the shoulders moving. There we go. Nice little chip shot. That tempo is perfect. And then we can always launch it up back to a normal full wedge. So just going through the bag of shots, you got every shot in the bag with this feeling. So we got that short shot, here's another pitch again. Nice. And then we can work it up to 110 yards, max it out, full wedge shot, elbows together. good distance on that too. And now we can go up to our eight iron again, which this thing has been nuclear. You know, this PXG, I've been playing these since about April or May. I got them spring, summerish. They are long. They are long. Okay. Oh man, that is murdered. Almost as far as Mickey Mantle's home run that went, what, 600, 700 feet? <laughs> this is why I teach golf, because it's so much fun to see you guys experiencing this. And I see it in the comments time and time again. Y'all are hitting the ball great. And you just need some little things to take with you to play great golf. This is one of those little things that goes a long way. It's one of those things that could be a 20 shot swing for you. Or if you're a good player, it could be that thing that gets you breaking your scoring barrier. It could take you from the 80s to the 70s, perhaps the 70s to the 60s. You know, you start finding more fairways. You start tightening up your pitching and chipping game. Since this does everything, there's no limit to where it can improve your game. And that's why I love doing something like this, elbows together, because it puts the whole swing together. And these are, if we walked out there, I'm not gonna do that because everybody's hitting balls, but if we walked out there right now, we would see balls in a circle, like calling in an airstrike on that location because it's that consistent. No wonder Ben Hogan wanted us to do this. Hey, thanks for tuning in today and I'll see you in a future episode.